God's will or does he allow it? That's a hard sell. And it's a hard question to really answer. Because um, many people think it's either one and the same or it's two completely different things. Um, I got a pretty deep revelation tonight when I was uh, eating with some friends of mine uh, at dinner tonight. And it's, it sounds very weird and it sounds very goofy, but it's true. Um, God God has a will and a purpose for everybody, for everybody in their lives, no matter who they are. Um, it is up to us to talk to him and discover uh, what his will is for our lives. Some of us follow that path, some of us don't. But it's truly up to us to discover what his will is for our lives. Um, we know that we're supposed to go out and we're called to preach the gospel and to witness and to minister to people and to do the same things that Jesus did when he walked this planet. <laughs> you know, we don't. We, we let ourselves get into the way. Um, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine the other day and God love her, and I do. Um, you know, we didn't see eye to eye on some things, but you know, it was neither here or there, you know. But I got a revelation tonight uh, at dinner. Um, you know, some people say God allows that to happen. You know, I don't agree with that. Um, and I have a change of heart, and this is the reason why. Um, I believe that we make choices in our lives if it's not directly if with what God says that he wants us to do that it's almost like saying you know what we're gonna put the handcuffs on God so he can't use his hands on us you know it's almost like we tie his hands for our lives now some people may not agree with that and you know so forth like that um, this is purely my thought and my belief and my opinion um, I really don't care what anybody else thinks um, but there's there's always that concept that you know, you know uh, when bad things happen to good people well, what happens when good things happen to good people you know so forth here's the revelation God does not stand back. He doesn't take a step back. God doesn't go backwards. He goes forwards. Everybody that truly knows and believes and has a relationship with God and Jesus should know this. God does not allow things to happen. God stands. He stands firm. He stands on his word. He puts his word above everything else that he does. When he speaks something into existence, it stands. It comes to fruitation, creation, existence. When he spoke, you know, when he spoke life into this planet, you know, when he created the heavens and the earth, what did he do? He spoke it. He spoke it into existence and it stands. It has not disappeared. It has not gone away. It doesn't go forwards. It doesn't go backwards. It stands. So when somebody says that, well, God, you know, it was it was the will of this person's life, you know, it was God's will for her or him to do this or this and stuff like that. No, I don't agree with that whatsoever. God's will for everybody's life is to be healthy, happy, prosper, to build a relationship with him to come to know him through his son and his son is the only way you can get to know him you know take refuge and take and take um, take um, holy cow I can't think of the word um, take take pleasure and take joy in knowing what Christ did for you on that cross 
He looked unto the cross as a joy. Everybody looks at Job as a way of, well, God allowed this to happen. God stood by Job because he knew that Job was only going to praise him through all that, through the loss. And, you know, Job lost his wife, kids, cattle, you name it. He lost it all, like many people today. But God didn't stand back and said, okay, go for it. And God didn't say, mm -mm. okay, you know, God stood right by Job because he knew what Job would do. He didn't say anything. He just said, Job, I'm just going to stand. I'm just going to stand here. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to stand. Because above all, God puts his word above himself. And... I now, many people, a lot, of, a lot of people will not agree with this, and that's fine. You know, go into it and you know, dig it out for yourself and so forth like that. Um, but he stands. He stands on his promises. He stands on his word. You know, we're to build our foundation on Christ, on the rock. You know, he's our cornerstone. <laughs> if you truly have that foundation built, you take a stand. You stand for what is right and not what is wrong. You take a stand for what you believe in. You don't back down. And you don't sway. You stand. And when I got this tonight we were talking about um, my mother's death you know and somebody asked me one one time a while back saying well you know God allowed that to happen for his glory and I said no I said okay well you know God used it to uh, for whatever purpose whatever purpose was it his will no, it wasn't. I don't agree with that. But God, God stood there. He stands there. Now, some people may say that is the same as allowing, but I don't think so. God stands. He was there. He stands. Many people won't understand that, and many people don't may not agree with that. Like I said, this is my opinion, my opinion only. But I'd rather have a God that stands for everything that He knows and believes and loves and so forth like that, than a God that will take a step back and say, you know, well, let's just see what He does. We have a God of love, and he stands on his word, and it doesn't return to his void. Um, you can take this however you want, but the God that I love and I choose to serve, he stands. Take it however you want to. Um, I'm sorry if you guys take this the wrong way or anything like that but this is just what I've come to learn uh, tonight and I had to share it so you guys take it however you want to so hope you get some kind of revelation out of this so you guys have a good night peace